Uh, you see me with my little visor here because the sun just pours in in the morning. <laughs> and my face looks like white. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Let's take a look at the Marriott. We have a new agreement from the Marriott. And I don't have all the information, but I will certainly look it up. There has been a lot of issues about people being able to access or take a look or look at information about uh, uh, a room, an accessible room. You know, and accessibility can mean anything. <laughs> It can mean a flashing light for the deaf, and that's not what you asked for. <laughs> you know, accessible, accessibility can mean anything. And it's, it's not fair to us. They won't give us the information. It's very mysterious. <laughs> and, and we can't look at it to see if, if that's the type of room we need. So, <laughs> and it gets a little ridiculous. So what do we do? So anyway, let's look at this information. Marriott agrees to better accommodate guests with disabilities. Now, what was happening uh, for this situation? The U.S. Attorney Office the, uh, um, received complaints from individuals with disabilities, and they found that Marriott's centralized electronic reservation system didn't have the minimum number of accessible rooms required by the ADA for many of its hotels, including properties where no accessible rooms were listed. Hmm. <laughs> so also Marriott's website did not include readily available information about the accessible rooms. And before October of 2022, people would not use third-party websites um, you know, like Expedia.com or Booking.com to guarantee reservations for accessible rooms at Marriott branded hotels. Now, what does that mean? Marriott has a conglomerate organization in which other hotels are part of their association. So they are linked to each other. They help each other. And so I'm going to read a list of hotels and so that you understand how many are associated or are part of the Marriott system. The settlement applies to reservations in the U.S. at the following hotel brands. AC Hotels by Marriott, Aloft Hotels, Autograph Collection Hotels, Courtyard Delta Hotels, Edition Element Hotels, Fairfield Inn and Suites, Four Points, Gaylard Hotels, JW Marriott, Le Meridien, The Luxury Collection, Marriott Hotels, Moxie Hotels, Renaissance Hotels, Residence Inn, The Ritz Carlton, Sheraton, Spring Hill Suites, St. St. Regis, Town Place Suites, Tribute Portfolio, and West Hotels and the Weston. So if you've been uh, struggling with any of these hotels, that's the reason. <laughs> They've been very mysterious about their accessibility. So um, it needs to be clear. So they're going to, you know, there's a whole document. Marriott agrees to better accommodate guests with disabilities uh, to learn more. So there's, there's a big link there, and I will give that to you. But know that, you know, when, when organizations are trying to book something for you, um, it's just a mess. So <laughs> either they don't give any information because there isn't any, um, accessible rooms, or you just can't look at the accessible room to make sure it, it, it it's accessible to you. <laughs> because, you know, in the hotels, you know, we've been having this issue for a long time that hotels are accessible 
Um, but according to what the hotel understands is accessible, like getting through the door and that's it. Then everything else is not accessible. Bathrooms are just almost never accessible for wheelchair users. <laughs> never. <laughs> so, you know, I asked for an accessible room and it was big enough, wide enough, but the bathroom was not compliant with accessibility. They did give me a chair so I could get into the tub, but um, it's pretty dangerous for me to do that. <laughs> but that's the kind of issues we run into. What is accessibility? What does the hotel understand that is accessible? Um, and we need to talk about that with the hotels um, so they can understand what is accessible. You know, for someone with a wheelchair, someone who is deaf, someone who is blind, the accessibility and the needs of that room are going to be different. So, um, so we, I think the hotels need some training oh, on the beds. <laughs> we always have trouble with the beds, don't we? Um, so, you know, some training, some information, you know, really needs to uh, happen in, in these uh, hotels and the chain. Married has a chain of hotels, and you've already heard me read it off. It's there's a lot of them, so I didn't even know the Westin was part of the Marriott system. So, and it is. So um, I'm doing a little candy here so I don't cough. But <laughs> so you know, we need to continue to educate them. If you run into that situation, my suggestion is that you use an organization that is focused on people with disabilities to um, to book that hotel for you so they can they can hammer the hotel. This is what I need and this is what it needs to look like. So you need to find me a room that is exactly uh, what the customer needs. So and they'll do that for you and they'll check and make sure it's still um, you know booked for you and they don't make any changes because sometimes they've done that. I know I was uh, booked at a hotel supposedly for with the proper accommodations, and then a whole group came in because you know for kids and they wanted to have a party or whatever, and um, so they took that room that I had requested and gave it to that group because you know they needed several rooms, so they gave all the, their accommodated or accessible rooms to that group. So then we lost the um, accessible room that I had requested. So, <coughs> so these these rules and regulations also need to be changed in in hotels. So let's keep on fighting, folks. Let's keep on educating, uh, especially the Marriott chain and any other chain that needs some information about what is accessible, what is the client. Um, <coughs> or the resident uh, requesting, you know, because there's a lot of disabilities, and not all disabilities are the same, you know, especially for those who use wheelchairs. <laughs> we need the space and we need the bathrooms, um, you know, uh, that is accessible, and we need a bed that's accessible. So, you know, it's it's a matter of education, it's a matter of pressure, and you know. Here they are with the U.S. Attorney's Office that um, poked them a little bit so they can see um, that, you know, it's not funny and um, they'll need to just improve, improve the situation and they have committed to that, hopefully. <laughs> It'll take some time, I'm sure, you know, months, maybe a year to improve their um, accessible rooms. All right, I just wanted to say that and that's that's a big win for the Marriott uh, for us and um, and the Marriott in the Marriott chain. So if you've had any issues just I think you can still report it to the Department of, of Justice and, and just let them know this is happening at this hotel it drives me crazy. I use them a lot blah blah blah. <laughs> so so that's why we need to continue to keep an eye on the Marriott and the Marriott uh, hotels.